I told my son, go in there and kill him. And that's what it's going to be. So then put him to bed because that's what we're going to put Ryan to. We're going to finally put him to bed and that bull that he's been doing. Ain't no boxing no more, Danny. And Mr. Ryan Garcia, bring your punk ass to the center of the ring. And that's where it's going to be decided at. If him and his team are really who they say they are, come to the center of the ring. Come to the center of the ring. Don't run. Don't run. Because Devin is coming to do bodily harm to him. Ryan Garcia defeats and brutalizes Devin Haney. Javante Davis definitely reacts to it. So Tank says, nothing, just calling my worst enemy. And he put a crying emoji. Answer the phone, Dirt, who's supposed to be somebody on Devin's team. He says, you know what? You know who was screaming in my face tonight and breath smelled like straight-ish? I don't know how to smell the bum name. He in Canelo weight class, though. I don't know what that's about. I think that's the Berlanga beef. He said, <laughs> yeah, Glow. So, Javante Davis is definitely on his petty stuff. Ryan Garcia says, dang, Devin has a broken jaw, allegedly. The name of the game, I suppose. What's next? Right? Javante said, aw. So, you knew this was coming. This is what happens when you fight a mother ucker the same size as you. So Javante Davis is clearly going in. Comment reads, we all saw it. LOL, the ref should be banned. He said, no, he shouldn't. Yo, I'm going to give you all the address to Dirt Spot in Cherry Hill. Need y'all to send mad pics, a big poster to the crib of Devin butt in the air pause and then people are posterizing this oh wow they're going in on the comment wow I can't believe Ryan did that to Devin man the comments is rough someone said this one oh, wow all bad y'all all bad. This was a must win scenario for Devin Haney, and he didn't win. He says, I'm still coming to get ninjas. It's not over. Ninjas got to see me. So, Javante Davis, he says, And hey, what about you D riding at people? And everybody's, you already know what the comments is on. Shout out to Nuke. Forget Devin. Where Bill Haney? Where Bill Haney at? Where Dirt at? Mm -mm -mm. Ellie says, this is by far the worst ref in boxing. He said, no, he knew what he was doing. You didn't peep his face. He was smiling. Let's acknowledge that Devin Haney was never quite the same as level as Tank. Wow. The pictures, the memes from this fight alone. Absolutely savage. Now, it's funny that some of the racists in boxing, they're trying to say like, oh, ego, you got it wrong. I didn't even do an official fight prediction for this fight. So what did I, in fact, get wrong? Beyond that, I still gave you guys commentary on this fight, even without doing an official prediction to kind of cue you in where my head was at. So peep the date and I'll make a separate video about this. This was April 17th before the fight. The fight was on 420. I said... I don't see why Team Haney is daring Ryan Garcia to stand in the center of the ring in exchange. Tank Davis has game changer single shot knockout power, and he didn't even say that. Just fight your fight. In my opinion, Devin Haney is more of a skilled boxer, and a dogfight is unnecessary danger versus a puncher like Ryan Garcia. So what did I get wrong? And what happens if Ryan Garcia's power forces you to box more and clinch, which is exactly what happened all night. He had noodle legs. 
and he was forced to clinch and he was pushing his punches because he had no power his recuperative you know engine had not kicked in and ryan went he he was fighting kind of weird in spot like by not throwing like he would have devin haney hurt and he would kind of let off the gas which shows me what i also said is maybe ryan garcia was some of the stuff he was saying in terms of like joking and being jovial in camp perhaps was true right but anyway i says what happens if ryan garcia's power forces you to box more and clinch after you just told the world that you would stand in the center and trade it's a weird game plan to me so please let me know what boxing ego got wrong when these are the statements that i was making before the fight weird game plan ryan garcia i told you it was a win-win situation for him because the worst case scenario if he were to lose then people would have said he's crazy but then the upside is he has power explosive and he's using some skullduggery and he put it on thick and he got and forced Devin Haney and Bill Haney to fight off of emotions and Devin tried to fight like Rambo almost like Bradley versus Ruslan Provotnikov fighting off fumes fighting off emotions I told you the pressure was heightened but you don't have the style you're not an armadillo where you have this perfect shield people have questioned your chin things of that sort so you fighting this fight benefit ryan he's faster he's more explosive he has a lot of power especially in his left hook so it met it never made sense these comments from bill haney I told my son, go in there and kill him. And that's what it's going to be. So any parents or don't want, if you don't want your kids to watch this shit, then put him to bed because that's what we're going to put Ryan to. We're going to finally put him to bed and that bullshit that he's been doing. Ain't no boxing. No more Danny. The boxing shit and the boxing and it's a fight. And Mr. Ryan Garcia, bring your punk ass to the center of the ring. And that's where it's going to be decided at. Gloves are off. If him and his team are really who they say they are, come to the center of the ring. Come to the center of the ring. Don't run. Don't run. Because Devin is coming to do bodily harm to him. Now, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, uh, Eddie Hearn and DeZone. Enough's enough. So you guys heard it. Y'all must have forgot. I had to remind you. I told you. Standing in the center of the ring was a foolish game plan. So Bill Haney, as the trainer to his son, that is not the game plan that you should have executed or tried to execute it. And this is what happens when you have a big entourage, many people around you, and almost like yes men. You know, sometimes people's egos get real big, no pun intended, but they got a lot of people around them. And then people are praising you. People are saying, oh, you're unstoppable. You're, you walk on water. You're the black Jesus, right? You can't be beat look how you sauced up Regis Progre. But Regis Progre was always a different fight than this fight. This guy fought you six times and won three of them. So you split that. This was supposed to be game seven. Absolutely terrible for Devin Haney to have lost in that fashion. And then now, like I suggested, I literally showed you. I said, what happens if Ryan Garcia's power forces you to box more and clinch after you told the world to stand in the center of the ring and trade weird game plan to me so i told you before the fight that it was a weird game plan somebody responded to my tweet gambino he says devin is basic if he try that devin is going to get his ass eh knocked out and i said in response i just believe you got to be who you are and use your strength to your advantage Boxing is not about fighting the wrong fight, being stubborn, trying to prove a point. And that's exactly what I believe Team Haney did that resulted in Bill watching his son get dropped several times, hurt several times. You're trying to fight this man who is a bigger puncher. Your son or Devin, his chin is probably not as durable as Ryan Garcia. His punching power is not as you know, uh, pronounced as Ryan Garcia, obviously. 
and you never hurt Ryan and Ryan was able to hurt you in the first round really and this fight let's be real this fight wasn't even close I don't know what people watch this fight wasn't close Devin had some you know decent moments where they were okay the biggest credit you could give to Devin is he showed heart but he was on the canvas he was spilling around and Ryan was robbed of several and I do mean several knockdowns the ref kept pulling them off he was slow to match him back up Ryan was losing time Ryan was really jobbed here because there was one round where it really was a knockout and the way Devin Haney got up and responded and his legs were buckled look I mean just look at him right anybody who falls like that on their arm or face first and stuff they're they're probably not good again Devin Haney must have been in some serious dog shape to somehow get up but they also the ref was buying him time and stuff like that but he looks like he's seen a ghost it was a horrible night Devin the dream Haney it was more like a nightmare last night and I told you so now all the YouTube content creators all the Facebook pages all the TikTokers that said the opposite of boxing ego once again you got to face the music don't make excuses and say oh but you know Devin was weight drained or Ryan was too big or Ryan something was up he was on something something was wrong with his gloves excuses 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 none of that stuff is proven I see people in the comments like no nah, Ryan was too big oh he weighed 143 but here's the thing with the whole 143 argument why didn't you change your prediction to Ryan Garcia then let me explain so if Ryan missed weight which he did by three pounds you rene you renegotiated and agreed that this fight would take place at 143 you said you didn't care if it was at 143 you were going to knock him out it was going to be the same result right so the fans and the content creators why didn't they change their prediction like nah Ryan's going to be too big and too strong they didn't they still picked Devin Haney by knockout and then now when it didn't happen they're trying to back off the block and make excuses talking about all oh, the weight oh you he weighed too much but if that was the case like I just said you should have changed your prediction like no Ryan's going to be way too strong but the fact is people thought Ryan was going to get washed and Devin Haney who's not a big puncher was somehow going to knock him out in the first three rounds this is what the Haney act said this is what the Haney act said they said that Devin was going to do the knocking out and you see pictures like that clearly that was not the case now Ryan is talking his talk this game seven ended horribly because it was it was a sweep it was really a it was really a sweep you let this man now look at Ryan he on the subway face look clear as heck he just got a haircut he don't look like he's even been in a fight this is terrible this is terrible I don't even know what Devin Haney's next move should be look at these memes look at these pictures you know what I mean this is this is bad it's gonna be hard to look you got him looking like Muhammad Ali I feel like Muhammad Ali we the big three like we started the league feel like a Muhammad Ali yeah yeah bro they got Ryan lit right now Ryan Garcia I told you he was acting like a nook like Ryan Garcia was dropping music videos and stuff drinking beer and then guess what he still won his face now the day after looks exactly the same as before the fight people were saying Ryan was scared Ryan's not disciplined Ryan got the whole game he shook the whole game up y'all